What's up guys? It's Milana. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, Jamie, shout out to you. I know you wanted a tutorial of my favorite salad. I'm actually going to show you guys how I make my favorite salad. It comes in many variations, so this is just going to be one of the many variations. And tonight I'm featuring a mini mic because the camera is further away. So the audio may sound a little different. Hope you like it. Hope it doesn't sound too strange. And um, not going to lie, it took me quite a bit to get this whole camera situation set up because uh, it was just new. It's like balancing on a chair right now and the light's showing, but hopefully you can look past that. Okay, so without further ado, this is suddenly my cooking channel. Okay, let's put this mini mic on because I actually require two hands to make this salad. And first things first, you always got to set the vibe with an abnormally large candle because mm, it smells so good. Uh, what else would we do? Obviously we need to set the vibes. Okay. It has four wicks. Um, two of them aren't lighting. Okay. One of them lit. Another one, another one bites the dust. We got three out of the four wicks lit. It's, uh, it's running pretty low. So I guess I need to go get more candles. I want you guys to see it so you can feel the vibes. Okay. Now I know it looks chaotic, but it's all going to come together. Salad for one. This really could be like a fantastic dinner party salad. Okay, this is falling over. There we go. Now it will stay right there. Yeah, this is an amazing dinner party salad. Actually, the way I originally discovered the salad recipe is my mom made it for Christmas like years ago. Years ago. And um, ever since, I've been addicted. And I just make different variations. That's the fun thing about salads is you can always like mix and match. So my number one ingredient is organic kale. Most of these items I get from Trader Joe's. No, this is not sponsored, but Trader, Trader Joe, if you want to sponsor me, that'd be super fun. Okay, so first you have to get a fluffy amount of kale. Check. I like to incorporate some other mixed greens. This week I bought arugula. Arugula just adds like such a yummy flavor. Keeps it interesting. So there's some arugula. I really should have gotten a bigger bowl, but you know, we're just gonna make it work. And I also got some organic microgreens. If you know what the health benefits of these are, please comment and let me know. I saw them and I was like, those look like something a really healthy person would eat. So I'm going to buy them. And then you know what else I do that some people might find controversial is I like to um, rip up the lettuce so it's like super small. And the reason I do this is because my favorite like vegetarian restaurant it's called Active Culture, they make these bowls. And everything in their bowls is like super finely chopped. So it has like kale, quinoa, all these chopped up veggies, dates, and like a sauce that blends it all together or mixes it all together. It's not blended. It's just very finely chopped. And it's just the most delicious like salad bowl ever. And salads can be kind of a lot of work to eat. Like you're chomping and munching a lot. Like there's a lot of crunch. It's a lot to like chew up salad and food. So that's why I like to rip up my kale, especially kale. Like kale is kind of a tough texture. So there we have it. There's the base. Ta-da! Okay, so next we're going to make some dressing. My friend Mariana taught me this dressing. I can get this off. Um, she taught me this dressing when she visited me last year. And I like it better than any other dressing I've ever bought. Some restaurants have bomb dressing, but anyways, so this dressing is super easy. You take some olive oil and you just do like a really light drizzle. Okay. Olive oil done. And then you take some lemon. It's a good looking lemon. And you also, I guess I should hold it closer for you. You get a healthy amount of lemon. I love a lot of fresh lemon on the salad. 
And if you get the chunks of pulp in there, it's all good. It's great. It's super healthy and super yummy. Oh, it smells so good. I love the smell of lemon because it reminds me of lemon starburst. Probably shouldn't be talking about candy while making salad. Oh, wow. There's only one flame burning left on the candle. It's really time for new candles. Okay, so we're almost done with the dressing. We did olive oil, lemon. Now we're gonna do some honey to add some sweetness. I try to buy everything organic because pesticides, I've heard are really bad for you. So, I mean, if I have something that's non-organic, which I'm sure I eat plenty of food that's not organic, just don't feed that your attention and energy of like, oh my gosh, I had, I had bad food, it's not organic. Like, that's how you develop food intolerances. Is when you go down the rabbit hole of being like, oh my gosh, all this food is so bad, it has no nutrients, blah, blah, blah. Your thoughts matter so much. Like, if you tell yourself, this food that I'm eating is so healthy, it's so good for me, it is nourishing, my body, my soul, in every way it needs. It's delicious. My cells are absorbing all the nutrients it needs. Then guess what? Your body's going to do that because your body just is always listening. So I'm adding cucumbers. So fresh. I wish you could smell this right now. It smells so good. Oh, I forgot to add the last ingredient for the dressing. Okay, hold please. All these things don't have to go in a particular order, by the way. You do it however you want. Okay, so cucumbers added. The last ingredients for dressing, which sometimes I wait to do these ones at the end, but we can do it now while I'm thinking about it, is salt and pepper. Okay, there's salt, pepper. Pepper, so yummy. Okay, so this is where we're at so far. I guess I should put this in front so you can see it. Next, I'm going to add some... Cherry tomatoes. Do you guys like to cook? If you like to cook, what, what are like your favorite things to cook? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious. Um, I'm always open to new recipes and new ideas. Something I really want to make actually is like homemade healthy protein bars. I think it would be really easy to make um, using like oats and maple syrup and almond butter and chocolate chips and like coconut. There's got to be some good recipes online for like, or, or like those power balls, you know, some of the local coffee shops sell them. I think they're called like bliss balls, but they can't be that hard to make. So yeah. I want to make those. Maybe I'll make another video with those. Although this is really not a cooking channel. Wow, I've already been talking for eight minutes. It usually doesn't take me this long to make the salad, but it's just because I'm explaining things. Oh, okay. You know what else is really good that kind of counts as part of the dressing is adding hummus. I have hummus tonight. So I'm going to add a little scoop, a scoop diddy whoop, scoop de loop, whoop de whoop. That just adds like such good flavor and some protein because I'm not adding any meat and um, it just adds like a good saucy texture to the salad. Okay, so tomatoes. What else do we need? I guess I should be like pushing these over as I'm done. Oh, carrots, shredded carrots. October 12th. I wish I could ask you what today's date is. It smells fine. Today is the 12th because tomorrow is Friday the 13th, the day Taylor Swift's movie comes out. I'm going to go see it with my friend Pamela. I'm so excited. It's, oh, I just got buzzed thinking about it. It's going to be so fun giving me flashbacks to her concert. It was the best night of my life. So awesome. She's incredible. Um, yeah. I want, I want you 
to watch the Taylor Swift movie, and then we can talk about our thoughts on it. I love it when we have like shared experiences, like um, how a bunch of you did the Joe Dispenza Walk for the World. And then we got to like talk about it together and comment like where everybody was doing it and like what you were thinking about and what you felt. I think that's so special and cool. So go watch the Taylor Swift movie so we can talk about it. Um, okay, next up is avocado. Yum. So good. Oh, so good. Literally everything in the salad is so bomb. Avocado is probably the best thing though. Mm, so fresh. This is a really good avocado. It's like, like today was the perfect ripeness day for it. Okay, I'm just doing half. Save the other half for tomorrow. Did you guys know this little life hack? When if you only have, if you only use half of an avocado, leave the pit in the half that you're saving, and then put the skin back on it, and then like seal it up. I'm gonna put it in a plastic bag. That keeps it from getting like you know, brown. It'll probably still get kind of brown, but less brown. Okay, we need some crunch up in this thing, so I'm adding trail mix. This is a trail mix from Trader Joe's, Omega Trek Mix. It has dried cranberry and a roasted nut blend. It has a pretty good mix of things. There's like almonds, pumpkin seeds, dried cranberries, obviously, from the name walnuts pistachios i think that's everything but i really like the dried cranberries too it gives it like that sweet sweetness okay last ingredient is goat cheese i usually get this other goat cheese but this week i decided to try a new one it's still from trader joe's it's got like herbs on it chevry fine herbs how do you say that word chevry chevre chevry i don't know i'm not fancy um please correct me how to say it goat cheese is just so good i've also heard that goat cheese is like one of the healthier cheeses that you can have it's like healthier than most cheese so of course i like that i try to be healthy and it's just delicious it is an acquired taste though i didn't like it at first i had to eat it a few times before liking it i think this would be so bomb on pizza like chunks of goat cheese I don't know if I've ever had that, but uh, maybe I need to make pizza and add goat cheese. Ooh, and um, sun-dried tomatoes. I feel like sun-dried tomatoes would be really good on pizza, like goat cheese and sun-dried tomatoes and like fresh basil leaves and oregano. That would be bomb. That would be bomb.com. Okay, this is this is the salad. Ta-da! And I usually like to add dates. However, I've been kind of snacking on them today, dates with almond butter. And I'm gonna have some more after I eat my salad. So I'm saving it for dessert. But honestly, I'll probably have ice cream as well because I love ice cream. And we don't need any other explanations or reasons other than I love ice cream very much. Okay, thank you so much for watching this salad tutorial. I hope you have the best day ever. I've been really jet lagged this week ever since coming back from Hawaii. I got back from Hawaii on Tuesday, I believe. Or was it Monday? No, actually it was Monday. I flew back on Monday, but I landed at LAX at like midnight and then i had to like take the shuttle to my car and then i had to drive home by the time i went to bed it was like 2 a.m and then my dog woke me up at 6 a.m plus hawaii is like three hours behind california so when i wake up at 6 a.m it's like you know 3 a.m i uh try not to think about it but then i realize it when i'm like in pilates and i'm like <laughs> on my reformer and my teacher is like um hello miss point your toes and i'm like <laughs> can i go back to bed anyways yeah i've been kind of jet lagged this week but i have a feeling within the next day or two i'm gonna be back to normal so yeah 
just been trying to rest and recuperate. Also, okay, I know this is kind of random, but I feel like I just need to like get these things off my chest. I need to tell someone, so it's you. I did an hour of fashion maneuvers last night and it felt so good. Like literally my body felt like so loose and free. Um, and then this morning I got a bloody nose and then I got another bloody nose this afternoon. And it's literally when I do a lot of fascia and I really, 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 really think it's just this old stuck trauma, old stuck stress and energy that's like being purged and released from my body. I hope you didn't just hear me burp. I like burped <laughs> inside my mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good thing my mom doesn't watch my videos because she would be so embarrassed that her daughter just burped in a YouTube video. Anyways, anything else I wanted to share? Oh, there was one other funny thing I thought would be like entertaining to tell you guys. So when I was in Hawaii, I was with a group of like 15 friends and it was just so fun. Um, it reminded me of being in college, especially because I, I went to school in Hawaii for a couple years. So it just reminded me of college so much, like being with so many fun friends and like being in Hawaii, going to the beach, going on hikes, like being in nature, um, just chilling out at the house. And one funny thing that I realized was like, <laughs> I, I know this sounds funny, but I literally had no romantic attraction to any of the guys in the group. And I really like viewed them all as brothers. Like everyone was like my brother and sister. And once again, that reminded me of my friend group in college, specifically in Hawaii. Like I had the, the most amazing friend group. It was so much fun. I lived in a, a big house with like 25 girls. There was six sections of the house. And like there was just all these homes where like a bunch of students lived like on a cliff overlooking the ocean. And um, like all my best guy friends lived like, I don't know, five or six houses down. And it was just a bunch of the, the guys that lived there. And like, we would all go surfing together. We would all go hiking. We'd go on these grand adventures. We went to Maui for a week together on spring break. Like it was just the best. Like they were really my family. And I viewed those guys as like, A, my brothers, but also as my sons, which probably sounds so strange. But like, I specifically remember hanging out at their house and like, me and one of my girlfriends had just made this like apple crisp dessert thing and we're like watching some movie or whatever and everyone's just like hanging out on the couches like relaxing chatting and i just had this feeling of like these are my children these are all of my children and like i'd always check in with like the guys and be like oh like how's how are the girl problems like how's class how's school you know all those things i just felt this like motherly love for them and the same thing happened this last week. It was like, these are my brothers, but also these are my sons. Like, I just want to care for these people. Like, they're, they are my children. So that was just like, I find it so funny. I don't know if you can relate to that or if I'm just like super weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just the maternal instinct of me to like, make sure everybody's okay and taken care of. So anyways, thank you for listening to the weird thoughts inside my head. Maybe you related to some of them. Maybe you thought this girl is a freak. Either way, comment below and let me know what you think. That kind of rhymed. Anyways, I'm going to stop now. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing night. See you later.